This episode is called Santa's Beard. Let me tell you a secret. One you might think is weird. There's a family of mice who live inside a beard. How many, you ask? Good question. Let's see. There's a mother and father and Clara and me. We moved in one night while the man was asleep. We were all very quiet and did not make a peep. Dad built five rooms, all on one floor, which were just big enough for our family of four. And Mom made the beard feel just like a home. Thank goodness the man did not use a comb. Sometimes we'd vacation way up in his hair, though it could get cold, for there wasn't much there. But lucky for us, he wore a warm cap, which he only took off if he took a nap. Dad stayed at home. Mom worked in his boot. It was quite far away, so she had to commute. Now my sister and I, we love to be chased. We'd run round and round the man's ample waist. Being close to his belly, we could feel every chuckle. We both loved our spot behind his belt buckle. Then on Christmas Eve, we all sprang from our beds. A noise woke us up that rang in our heads. What did it sound like? Well, let me see. Part hustle, part bustle, with a touch of frenzy. So I poked out my nose, one eye, then two. I needed to know what did this man do. The stars were quite bright on that snowy day, and I could clearly see a shiny red sleigh and people so many with sharp, pointy ears. They were smaller than children, but older in years. They wrapped gifts in paper, red, yellow, blue, green, for girls and for boys and everyone in between. I couldn't believe it, so I ran to my house. This news was too big for one little mouse, and soon all our heads poked out from his beard. We were all so excited. Our beady eyes peered. The man sat in his sleigh. The sky was so clear. He held onto the reins of eight mighty reindeer. Then he shouted, "Hang on! Something feels weird. Who is that hiding deep inside my beard?" No one said a word. We all felt too much shame. But then I spoke up, since I was to blame. I'm sorry, I said. We're just being nosy. Please don't kick us out. Your beard is too cozy. The man pulled out a list, checked it not once but twice. He said to us all, "You've been naughty and nice." I closed my eyes tight, expecting the worst. We moved into his beard without asking first. The man rubbed his chin. The man scratched his head. He thought for a while and then finally said, "All right, you can stay." And all of us cheered, for this family of mice could live in Santa's beard. And the lesson we learned was always ask for permission, especially when Dad. Adds that second floor addition. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please check out my dad's picture book, Lost Hallway: Where Do Lost Things Go? Now available on Amazon. It's a magical tale of a young boy, me, who discovers a world that contains all lost things. You can learn more at storiesbypeter.com. See you next time, and happy holidays!